Welcome to my session on Mini Cax Assessment on Next Dwellings. This is part one, which is mainly dealing with the questions. Okay, the first station, station one, deals with the history of the patient. Okay, you are given a detailed history of the patient on a next dwelling. You are supposed to go through the history, analyze the history, pick out the relevant points in the history and come to a major diagnosis which you can then answer the questions in section 2. The history goes like this. My name is Mrs. Jennifer Jalani. I am 40 years old and on an ethnic Iban from Sarawak. My hometown is Batang Ai in the Ai River region of Sarawak. For the last 20 years, I have noted a swelling in the front of my neck. It started initially as a small painless nodule about the size of a grape on the right side just above my right collarbone. Since there were many people in my village with similar swellings, I did not take notice of it, especially since I was busy studying and training to become a travel correspondent. Over the subsequent years, the swelling has progressively increased in size and has gradually spread to involve not only the right side of the neck but also the front and left side of the neck. However, there has never been any sudden increase in the swelling or any bouts of pain associated with the swelling. Now, over the last six months, I increasingly have a tight feeling in the lower in the throat, have difficulty in swallowing and breathing, and I get breathless easily. My voice has changed and become hoarse, and the other than this, the swelling have not I have not noticed any other swellings in the neck or elsewhere. My appetite is not has not changed over the years, but I find that I am putting on weight and am constipated, requiring me to regularly take psyllium, husk as a natural laxative. I prefer warm weather and dislike travelling to cold places. Even in the movie halls with air conditioning, I carry a shawl to cover myself as I am very sensitive to cold. I have not had any major illness in the past. And apart from a little inherent laziness and tendency to oversleep lately, I am in good health. I do not smoke or consume alcohol and I am not on any regular medication or vitamin supplements. I had my first period at the age of 13, but my periods were always irregular and scanty. A year ago, the periods stopped altogether and my family doctor told me that I have reached menopause early. I have never been married and have no children of my own. I have adopted an orphan girl from my village and my adopted daughter is 12 years old. My brother, who is elder to me by two years, has a similar swelling in the neck but is otherwise healthy. Currently, I stay in Cebu in Sarawak with my parents, who are both alive and well. Now that I look back, I think they too had similar but smaller swellings in the neck. Okay, after reading through the history carefully, we go to station number two and answer the following questions based on history. Please answer the questions in brief based on the history elicited from the patient. The time allowed for this station is 7 minutes and the marks, total marks is 5. Question number 1. What information is derived from the fact that there is a high incidence of goiter in the patient's hometown? 1 mark. Question number 2. In case ultrasonography guided FNAC reveals a neoplasm, what is the type of neoplasm it is likely to be? One mark. Question number three. What is the likelihood of a daughter developing a goiter and why? 
Question number 4. Based on the history, what is the thyroid status of the patient? And question number 5. What other estimation regarding the patient can you make from the history? Having gone through the history and the answers questions, next we come to the station number 3, the examination of the patient. The picture on the right here shows the neck swelling in the patient that we just discussed in the history. Now, describe how you will examine the patient, taking into consideration the following inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Okay, next we come to station 4, which is questions based on the investigations for this patient. Question number 1. The patient's blood was sent for the estimation of TSH, total T3 and total T4. And the report are as given here. Study these reports and answer the questions that follow. Question number one, what conclusions can you draw from the report and why? Question number two, the clinical examination of the patient reveals a lobulated mass of varying consistency with some areas of firm and soft cystic areas. It measures 10 by 9 by 8 centimeters extending from the chin to the suprasternal notch as shown in the photograph here okay you asked for an you have asked for an ultrasound of the neck but the patient got a ct scan done and the image ct scan image of the neck is this shown here okay based on this information what should be the next investigation for the patient Question number three, what is the role of radioactive iodine, RAI, in the management of thyroid disorders? Okay, the final station, station number five, uh, deals with the viva questions on management of this patient. The examiners are free to ask any management related question, which the houseman should is expected to know okay the total time for this station 5 is 7 minutes and the total marks is 10 question number one what do you understand by the op operations termed hemithyroidectomy and total thyroidectomy question number two how do you prepare a patient who is diagnosed to have toxic multinodular goiter for surgery Question number three, what are the complications of total thyroidectomy? Question four, how do you manage a patient with thyrotoxic crisis? Question five, what is the ideal operation for a patient diagnosed to have a medullary thyroid carcinoma, confined to the thyroid gland and no nodal metastasis? Question number six, what are the indications for surgery in a patient with goiter? Okay, now please scan the QR code above to go to the second part of the session. That's the answers to the questions. Thank you.